Hey, hi, how you doing? Happy New Year, all that junk. Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, how I created these, this uh, effect here by using the t-shirt as a sort of depth, depth map to uh, use to create the creases on the skull and, and use that to overlay over the t-shirt. And what we're going to create is going to look something like the center image here, this image here. So let me close that out and I've already got everything set up, uh, the skulls in place and everything. And what I want to do now is create the depth map or the bump map for the t-shirt, uh, for the skull of the t-shirt. Now we're going to desaturate this. Desaturate. We'll go with lu uh, luminosity. That's okay. And I'm going to use curves to adjust it to make the creases depth more apparent. That looks pretty good. See, the idea of a depth map is the darker the color is, the further away it is, and the lighter the color is the closer it is to us. Uh, I'm going to adjust this one more time for brightness and contrast. There we go. Alright, that, that was pretty good. Now we need it to be uh, a little bit uh, blurry because we need to uh, create more depth so that uh, we can do that by blurring the image slightly so we'll Gershon blur this and I had it set to 11 and I think that's what I'm gonna pop it down to say 8 right 8 is good or 9 I think I moved it to 9 okay now we have this is what we're gonna use we're going to use this to bump and we're going to use this also to uh, displace okay now first we're going to displace this skull I'm moving it up top with the t-shirt so let's go to do that filter filters map displace I use the setting of 6 by 6 using the t-shirt as the layer to, to add the displacement see how it moved, moves the nostril bones a little in the teeth slightly okay There we have it. I'm going to just reposition that a little better. There we go. And layer to image size. There. Now we have that. Now we can alpha to select our skull. Add an alpha channel to our t shirt because we didn't do that earlier. And then invert the selection and clear the t-shirt. So now we have just the skull uh, being covered by the uh, t-shirt's depth map or bump map or whatever you want to call that. Anyway, select none. So now we have that over. Now what we want to do is create a bump map on our skull now. So we go to filter Let's just close the eye on that. Filters, map, bump map. Create a bump map on our skull. Now I had this already set before to the settings that I thought looked okay. Now you can play with this using uh, elevation and depth if you like. I like the way it was now. Amplitude sometimes gives it more or less. Uh, clarity 
or not, depending on what you do with it. But I'm going to leave it at zero and press OK. There we have our creases on our shirt taken from the depth map that we made for the displacement and for the bump. Now what you can do is, is what, what I did was I duplicated our skull graphic and I burned layer mode burn on this skull layer and lowered its opacity a bit to say about there. Now I click on our original bump maps skull layer with the color on it and you can decrease it slightly if you like 80 seems okay and then you can use your bump map the depth map layer to overlay over the whole thing to give it even more depth lower that opacity a bit and there it is that's it that's what I did I hope this helps bye